Welcome to another exciting episode of Will It Run It? Today I'm comparing three different sources of energy to see which one will run my window AC unit. This is a 5000 BTU window AC unit. The specs on it are probably much like the, uh, the units that you would get at Walmart. Uh, I bought this at Atwoods. It's a pro air brand. Um, 5000 BTU. It says 3.9 amps. The big thing about AC units is the startup current. It's got a big compressor on it that has to crank up. Uh, 5000 is about the smallest you can get. Um, and luckily, it's also one of the cheapest. Now, the best thing about this unit, in my opinion, uh, for trying on these different sources of energy, is it's got a physical switch. Um, I've tried some of these before in the past with other generators and had problems with them because they had electronic circuit boards and they were measuring voltage drop and they would puke and say, no, I'm not gonna do it. Um, this one, it's it's gonna try, I'm pretty sure, because it's a mechanical switch. Um, we're gonna see what happens. And so I'm excited, I've got an EcoFlow Pro over here. Um, this is my new uh, toy in the edition and I've been very impressed with what this thing can do. Um, it has a feature called X-Boost that will provide dirty power when it exceeds its max starting current, which this is a 600 watt inverter with a 1200 watt uh, peak. And with X-Boost it claims things even up to 1800 watt start current can start. So we're gonna give that one a try. I've got the good old Jackery 500. This was my first, uh, my first love. Um, and this thing is a 500 watt uh, inverter, a thousand watt peak, so really similar to the EcoFlow. It does not have X boost, so it may be a little more sensitive to the uh, to the voltage spikes. Um, but uh, anyway, this is a uh, one other thing I forgot to mention. This is 720 watt hours, and this is 500 and I think 18 watt hours uh, on the battery. So the EcoFlow has a little bit more uh, longevity. But we're not really, at least in this video, I'm not comparing how long it will run it for. Um, it's probably uh, not going to run it for as, as long as people would hope. Um, you know, the idea is... Um, well, I'm, I'm doing this experiment really because uh, I'm trying to plan out how I'm going to do the electrical system on my um, do-it-yourself uh, home-built toy hauler, my tiny toy hauler build. Um, more on that later. I'm still, I'm still gathering information to decide how I'm going to do that. And then my last thing I'm going to try is I've got an inverter generator that can do a thousand watt peak. 800 running watts. Um, this is a gas generator. Um, gas engines uh, can also provide dirty power, which is why they usually have such high start currents. But this is an inverter generator, so it suffers from a lot of the same things that that Jackery does. If it detects that the power is going to be dirty, it shuts off rather than supply it. So let's get started. I'm going to try each one of these three. Obviously, I have to go outside to run this generator. I'm not going to run it inside the shop. So we're going to start with the the smallest uh, on the list, which is the Jackery 500. All right, let's get it plugged in. Turn the AC. <laughs> it's funny, AC, also AC. <laughs> Alternating current and air conditioning. Come on, you guys know that. Um, so here we go. We're starting with the uh, weakest culprit, the, the weakest option here. Let's see what happens. Here's, here's our test. It did not do it. Oh, look at that. It tried. It tried, but I got I got an exclamation. I got an exclamation on the Jackery. It, it gave it a valiant effort, though. It really did try. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this thing cool down for a couple of minutes. Um, actually, tell you what. Let's try again immediately. Nope. Okay, I thought maybe... Uh, I've, I've seen these before where the first time it doesn't do it, but it kind of gets spinning, and then the next time you try it and it does do it. Um, it doesn't do it, so the Jackery 500, it, it gave it a valiant effort. It tried for a couple of seconds, but ultimately it just puked. So I'm going to let this thing sit for five minutes, uh, let, it, let the uh, compressor cool back down in it, um, release all the pressure that it's built up just from that attempt, so I can get a apples to apples comparison. And the next one will be the EcoFlow. Okay, it has been five minutes. I got the EcoFlow up here. It is at 100%. Let me turn the inverter on. Okay, it says 90 hertz. Here it goes. Mm -hmm. 
It is, it is doing it. It's doing it. Wow. 300. I couldn't tell you what the start current was. Obviously, it had to break a thousand because the Jackery couldn't do it. But uh, this is doing it. And it is blowing out cool air. I'm going to turn it on high. So um, I go low AC as my first option. My second option is high AC. Uh, it's not pulling any more watts to do high AC though. That's what it was reading on the last one. And this thing says estimated time two hours. That's uh, pretty impressive. Uh, I'll have to actually put that to the test. <laughs> you know, is that is that one hour and 31 minutes or is that two hours and 29 minutes? Because, you know, there's no decimal point on the back of that two. So we're rounding to two. Um, also, I don't know how the wattage is gonna change over time of running this thing but man that is oh i'm so excited wow i didn't honestly i didn't think this was going to do it but it did it wow i am impressed so in theory i mean they i've heard people say before that it's not very optimal running ac on solar but you can see right here as of right now this is only a 5000 btu unit and you know, I, I guess depending on the climate you're in, uh, would de would determine how much um, how much you would run the AC. Because if if uh, like for my tiny toy hauler, for instance, that's not a lot of square footage that I'm I'm heating that I'm cooling. And if I have uh, you know it insulated really well, I mean, shoot, 400 watts of solar panels in pure sun, I could run this thing continuously as long as the sun was out. That is. That is impressive. And I don't think 400 watts of solar panels is that uh, much to ask for a small camper. I think that's four 100 watt panels. So it's been running here for a couple of minutes and I've used 2% of my battery. Okay, well we know it'll work. Um, so that completes that test. The EcoFlow passed, I'm very impressed. So let me get this shut off. And then we will switch over to the generator, give this thing a couple minutes to cool back down. All right, you can probably not see that because it's dark outside, but uh, I got the generator going. Economy is turned off. Uh, it's had a couple minutes to warm up there. Let's see what happens. My estimation is, well, I don't know. What, what do you guys think? You think it's gonna do it? I think it will. I think it. it I think it will. Uh, it's the same peak output as the Jackery. So if it doesn't do it, it means that this thing peaks over a thousand. But if it does do it, then it means that 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 peak, and then it kind of slowly tapers off, I guess. Because the Jackery, if you're exceeding 500 for more than a couple seconds, it pukes. This one, if you're exceeding 800 for more than a couple seconds, it'll puke. But, oh uh, well, let's just try it and see. Suspense is killing me. It is doing it. It's doing it. It did it. That's the hardest part there. So now go to high. It did it. It did it, guys. That's great to know. So the generator can do it. And I have the economy turned off on the generator, which I guess it makes sense. I'm, I'm testing out it to see if it can do it. I'm, <laughs> I don't want to use economy. I just want to see if it'll run it. So the answer is yes. So there you go. I hate to say it, Jackery, but you lost this one. Man. So as far as pricing goes, the EcoFlow MSRP, this is more expensive than this. Okay. That's just, that's just the, uh, you know, what the price for what you're getting this is cheaper but if you were buying if if you needed just one of these two you didn't care which one the jackery would be cheaper uh, i think it's about 500 dollars. this one i checked the other day and it was 550 but i think msrp is 650 i don't know what the msrp on the jackery is i think it's 500 but you're getting 500 watt hours on this one and you're getting 720 on this one so you're getting uh almost uh 30% more capacity um, you're getting much more options as far as what that inverter can do you get a lot of uh, they would 
what one of my coworkers calls nerd knobs. You get a lot more of those with the jack with the uh, EcoFlow. The Jackery is a lot simpler. It just uh, turn it on and and let it go, uh, let it do its thing. It can do it or it can't. The EcoFlow, if it can't do it, you got a lot of nerd knobs that'll that you can tweak uh, to try to get it to uh, be able to do what you're doing. But anyway. Hopefully you liked that video. If you want to see more like it, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'm always doing will it running videos. They're, they're some of my most exciting ones to do. If you got any suggestions of things you want me to try, make sure you, uh, you let me know in the comments section. Thanks for watching.